And you've probably heard as of June we have um, new opioid laws and starting next month we've got a, a new round of opioid laws in Michigan and there have been a lot of complaints about how it's preventing patient care in Michigan and these are the basic Michigan opioid laws. Um, the MAPS stands for Michigan Automated Prescription System, which means a prescription search. Every time I write you a controlled substance prescription, opioids, sedatives, stimulants, diet pills, anything, I have to run a MAPS. I have to get an informed consent form from you. It's called the Start Talking form. Um, it is probably quite useless, um, but we have to get a signature from everybody. Minors have to have parental involvement, which is good, and we do not yet have the rule for having a patient-provider relationship. We're going to have that starting in March. Drug testing, which makes the most sense, is not required. And then we have the three-day rule and the seven-day rule. If I don't do a prescription search, I can only write you three days of medication. If I do a prescription search, I can only write you seven days of medication. Okay. And that sounds terrible because seven days doesn't sound like a long time, and it's not. So where did all this nonsense come from? Okay, it came from the University of Michigan. All right, and this I'm I'm being disparaging, but there's actually a very large group of docs there who did an excellent amount of research, and what they found was that if you had not previously had a prescription for opioids, if you weren't using opioids and you had some kind of surgery and you got pain pills, 6% of you would get addicted or long-term dependent. And that doesn't sound like much, 6%, but think about how many millions of surgeries there are a year in the U.S. And who does it happen to? It doesn't happen to people who are getting huge surgeries. It happens to people who are getting any surgery. It doesn't matter what the dose. It just matters if you take these pills for more than a few days, the odds are about 1 out of 20, you're not going to be able to stop. So it didn't matter what dose, it didn't matter what kind of surgery, what mattered was do you have the risk factors for addiction? Do you have depression, anxiety, addicted to tobacco, a previous drug history, yada yada. You were much more likely to be unable to stop taking your pain meds. And a different study showed that if you got a seven day prescription, just seven days, you had a 5 to 15 percent chance of getting hooked, and if you had a 30-day prescription, it was 15 to 25 percent. That's terrible, okay? Because once you're on these meds, um, you wind up chasing doctor after doctor, trying to find somebody who knows who to, how to take you off, and very few doctors know how to get you off opioids. <clears throat> 